What's up everybody? Awkward Anxious Jennifer here. It is almost 10.30 on Sunday morning and I'm all done with my work for the week. Which, speaking of work, it's still pretty slow. This week was better than the last few weeks though, which is good. My best paying client said he should have some work for me next week and I did a couple of test articles for some new clients. So hopefully things are going to start turning around. That would be good. <laughs> anyway, I am off on an adventure. I only have a vague idea of where I think I'm going or what I think I'm going to do. I'm open to changing my plans. I'm just going to go and see what happens and I'm going to bring you all along for the ride. Um, anyway, that's it for now. I will catch up with you later. I'm back. It's a few hours later. I'm at the Medewin National Tallgrass Prairie uh, area park. I don't know. Uh, so you can see how tall the grass is behind me. I just got here. This is right by the uh, visitor center. I picked up a map. There's lots of places to explore. Um, this is the first tall grass prairie national park in the country. And it's kind of loud because of the uh, traffic. So I'm going to fill you all in more later when I hope to find somewhere quieter. Got a break in between cars, so I'm just going to record some of these grasses and flowers by the uh, Welcome Center as I walk back to my car. pretty cool to think that this whole part of the country was just covered in these tall grasses like this. Now I'm about 5'5", five five, and a lot of these grasses are about as tall as I am, which is crazy. Okay, I'm back. I am on a trail to maybe go see some bison, which would be cool. I probably should have brought my selfie stick for this, but I think I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you some of what I'm seeing as I walk. Okay, sorry it's so bouncy. It's going to look like the Blair Witch Project, I think. Sorry about that. I am not the smoothest walker. Man. With my sunglasses on, I can't really tell how this video looks. Hopefully, it looks as awesome on the camera as it does in real life. Okay, I'm going to put you down for Hooray for benches. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> I went out about as far as I could make it on this path. About a mile, maybe? A mile and a half? I'm a good chunk of the way back to my car, but needed a break. Kinda wishing I didn't leave my water in the car, but I'm glad that I do have water in the car. Oh, I'm so out of shape. I'm at sea level, or close to sea level. I'd really be dead if I was in Denver at altitude. I really, oh, I really need to get into shape. Hopefully I can start 
doing my walking around my apartment with scruffles now that most of the time it's not too terribly hot out. Uh, this place is a little too far away to walk regularly, but it's a really cool place to be on a day off. <clears throat> it's really quiet, I haven't seen that many people. Illinois is just not as outdoorsy as Colorado. It's just crazy to me. I've lived here in Illinois for two years now, and a place like this, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not, I mean, yeah, I'm all riding hot sweaty, but <laughs> that's because I'm absurdly out of shape. But it's not too hot and humid for here, and yet there's hardly anybody out here. Uh, in Colorado, any given day, weekday, weekend, any trail, any park or anything is just completely overrun with people. Maybe it's, maybe Saturdays are busier than Sundays here. I think Sunday everybody goes to church and then goes home and hangs out with their family. I don't know. Just crazy to me. Anyway, this place is beautiful. It's amazing to, well, A, just sit and listen to everything. The uh, bugs and the birds and whatnot. And also to, uh, ooh, I gotta start working out my selfie muscles. Uh, sit here and think about what it would have looked like, you know, without the paths in the middle and without the traffic in the distance. And, uh, you know, you watch na nature shows and they talk about following game trails. And looking at this, I can understand better why you would need to do that because uh, it it's so thick here. The grasses, like you wouldn't be able to just, I mean, you would have to have a machete or something to just walk through. So it's interesting to think what it would have looked like when the Native Americans were roaming here, just presumably following in the trampled down grass of buffalo? I don't know. But I can see better why horses would have been a huge advantage um, in these types of long grasses. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna flip the camera a little bit, show you what I'm looking at, and then keep making my way <clears throat> to my car where my water is. At least I remembered my inhaler today. We used that on the way out, so I'm not um, hacking up a lung like I would be otherwise. Just <sighs> typical, out of shape, can't catch my breath. Not asthma, can't catch my breath. Anyway, so this is the view from the uh, benches that I'm sitting on. I really hope that this video doesn't look too terribly shaky when I'm done, but I apologize if you guys have just been uh, jiggled for the whole video. Just gonna shut up and let you listen for a few. Made it back to my car. Thank heavens for AC and water. Man, I gotta get in shape. So as you can see, I'm back home and Scruffles is still angry at me for leaving him. I literally just came home, let him out of his crate, used the bathroom and turned on my phone. So he has not yet had his time to calm down and forgive me for leaving him. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to stop by one of my favorite places by the river to do sort of a wrap up, but uh, I really had to use the restroom, so I decided just to come out straight home instead. I know, it's not fair that I couldn't bring you with me, huh? It's not fair. I know. Tell me all about it. 
Anyway, today, all right, if I stop looking. Okay, let's try this. Maybe he'll calm down if I stop looking at him. Or maybe not. Anyway, uh, today was really good. Super relaxing. A lot of driving, which I just love. I see you. Uh, he'll calm down in a minute. Um, yeah, today was good. I, I had a nice, relaxing, long drive. The uh, tall grass prairie was really cool to see. I, I think I'm more inspired to uh, start walking with Scruffles more, start to get in better shape. And uh, oh my goodness, he's going to freak out if I don't sit down pretty soon and start to give him some love. So anyway, that was my day today. I'm feeling nice and refreshed and got a little bit of sun, but I don't think I got burned. Um, my driving arm has definitely got some color. But anyway, I'm going to go give him some attention and I will talk to you all later. Be kind to yourselves, be kind to each other, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.